This tutorial will guide you through the key steps to publishing your first story with OpenGraph. We will build a sample app that likes an object and publishes a story to Facebook. Once you're done with this quick getting started guide, you can also learn about possible next steps. In order to complete this tutorial, you'll need access to a public web server on which you can create one static web page. To create a Facebook app, go to the app dashboard and click the Create New App button. The resulting pop-up box will prompt you to enter two things. First, an app name. You can call it Open Graph Getting Started or something similar. This will be used as the app name when stories are published to Facebook and in a number of other places. The second thing is an app namespace. This isn't required for this guide, so just leave it blank. If you want to add one later, you can. Once you've saved your app, you will see the basic settings page for the app. You should fill in the following fields. Contact email, which is your developer email address. This may already be filled in for you. App domains, the domain that your app will be hosted on without the HTTP or HTTPS prefix. Next, choose Website with Facebook Login near the bottom of the page. In the Site URL text field, you should include the full URI to the page where the app will be. The domain used in the URI must match the domain you entered in App Domains. When you're done, click Save Changes at the bottom. Take note of the app ID under the display name of your app. You're going to need it later. Next, we're going to grab some sample code from the Getting Started Guide to set up our app. Place the following file at the URI that you specified in the settings above. In the file, you need to change one item, which is the app ID. Search for FB app ID in the file and replace its value with the app ID listed at the top of the basic settings page in the app dashboard. Next, we're ready to publish a story. If you load the app, you should see a page like this. It has a login button at the top, a paragraph of text explaining what the app does, and a button that lets you create a story with an OG likes action. Log in and authorize the app to post to your timeline. Next, click the Create a Story button. You should see something pop up like this. Story created ID is, and a number. You'll note that this result is a link. If you click on it, it will take you to the activity that was created on Facebook. You should notice a few things about this activity. First, this post is visible only to you. You can set the privacy of a post with a privacy parameter included in the demo code. Developers don't usually include a privacy parameter, instead allowing the default privacy of the app to dictate how widely something is shared. The center part of the story is very important. It said that subject likes an article on app. The likes was driven by the API that you used. OG likes creates like stories. If you had used the book reads API instead, the story probably would have said something like is reading or read. The like API, which we call an action, is roughly the same as a verb. The article part of the story is also very important. The page in question has tags that describe what it is and how it should be displayed on Facebook. If you go look at the source for the page, you'll see that it contains a tag that tells Facebook what kind of content it is. Meta property OG type content equals article. This is how Facebook knows that it's an article as opposed to, say, a product. These tags are what we use to describe objects. Objects are roughly equivalent to nouns. Objects are closely tied to the actions you use. For example, Book reads can take a book argument. Fitness runs requires a course object. OG likes is special in that it can accept any object. If your app will be creating stories, then your actions will require review and approval. Click on review status on the left-hand side of the app dashboard, and you should see something like this. You have a list of your current actions and your current objects. Note that the way to add an action to the list of actions is to create one story using that action. Before, we talked about how stories are made up of actions and objects. In this case, your story used the like action, and that's what needs approval. In order to complete the submission process, you will need to provide an app logo, a 75 by 75 pixel image, 
and an app icon, a 16 by 16 pixel image. You'll also need to provide instructions on how to test the app with screenshots and an automatically created test user. Note that as a developer, you can always post and test your own stories along with anyone else you add as a developer. So the submission process should not block your ability to test your own changes. If you want to learn more about the submission process, please see the Understanding the Open Graph Submission Process document. It gives overall guidance on what Facebook looks for when approving the stories that apps can create.